day today is starting very early before the sun even comes up. I'm on my way to the airport to uh, get on a plane and uh, fly up to Memphis, Tennessee, where I'm originally from, born and raised there. I'm gonna visit with mom and dad, some friends, uh, other family members for the holidays. So I'll be there for basically about a week. I consider myself a morning person, but this early is pushing it. Beautiful though. I have always loved this Christmas tree and uh, just the whole atrium uh, at this end of the terminal, the southwest end I call it. Uh, but it's just so cool. I just love the design of it and the architecture. Makes me actually want to stay here someday. There's a lot of red on those screens, a lot of canceled and delayed flights. <laughs> Is it just me or does that look like Pink Floyd's Animals album cover off in the distance? I've been flying on Christmas Eve for about 12, 13 years now, and I've never even come close to seeing it this busy before. It is really cold this morning, by Florida standards anyway. It was 31 degrees when I woke up. And we are airborne and on our way to Memphis. Looking forward to seeing everybody. I am not looking forward to single digit temperatures. I don't even recognize this airport. Never mind that I've been flying out of it since I was about 10 years old. They have completely refurbished it and it looks like a completely different place. Yeah, it's cold. Especially for somebody with Florida blood like me. It is freezing. Look at that. Way too cold, way too cold. Um, it's Right now it's 28 degrees, it's warmed way up. When I first got here this morning, it was only 19 degrees, 18 degrees, something like that. The low tonight is gonna be nine degrees. So that's way too cold for this Florida blood. But look at all this white stuff. We don't get white stuff in Florida, come on. As always, I'm staying here with mom and dad at their house. A 
honestly, snow in Memphis this time of year is a rarity. It really doesn't happen that often. Seriously though, I'm already over it. I've been here like five hours. I'm already over the cold. I can't, I can't take this stuff anymore. I can't help but get completely into the Christmas spirit when I come home. Mom does an amazing job decorating the house. Uh, they put up this tree. We've been using a lot of those ornaments since I was a kid. Now this snowman right here, we've been using that since I was smaller than the snowman. Some more of Mom's decorations here. Always does an amazing job. That's a piece that's been in the family for decades. Like I said, it's hard to not be in the Christmas spirit when I come home. Mom does such a great job decorating everything. Hello, Eminem Snowman. Definitely something I don't need in Florida. But it comes in handy here. Another staple of going home for Christmas is Mom's M&M cookies. She's been making these since I was a kid. We decided to invite Dr. Jones over to uh, spend Christmas Eve with us as well. On Christmas night, we decided to get out of the house since we've been cooped up all day. I uh, decided to ride around town and uh, just take in a lot of the Christmas lights and decorations. A lot of these neighborhoods really go all out. This cove in particular has been doing this for, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a decade or more. But they have uh, about four houses in a row that are just completely covered in lights. I love these kind of Christmas decorations, but man, it seems like a whole lot of work. Not only putting them up, but you got to come out and take it all down, too, at some point. This one was probably my favorite. I love the way the trees are, but especially the, the Santa with the sleigh and reindeer on top. Like it's actually flying over the house. Really, really well done. Wow, that is a lot. I'm going this little cone. I'm going to go right here and flip around and come back to the other side. There's another house on the other side. That's okay. Funny. I absolutely love the snow and like I mentioned earlier it's very rare for it to snow in Memphis this early in the in the winter honestly I can probably count on one hand how many white Christmases I experienced growing up in the city John now, my best friend John was coming home for Christmas world. this year he and I have been best friends for this Christmas this is the first time he's been he lives back overseas in Memphis, so this is the first four or five time we years. actually have been in the same he room together lives overseas and now almost we've been best five years since kindergarten in an effort to surprise her, we did not tell my mom that he was coming home. It's John! 
Ayan! idea to surprise you. Yeah. Well, he, does he was messaging that. me yeah. like two months ago yeah. saying, yeah. Yeah. His, his exact quote was when he messaged me a couple months ago was, uh, he said, I'm coming in, in December. He said, let's give Jenny Dunn a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, he was ready for I said, yeah, let's do heart it. attack preparation. <laughs> let's do it. Let's. Me and John and our moms decided to head off to Jason's Deli and uh, have a little lunch and catch up. What's that? La Hacienda is yeah. a staple of my parents' weekly restaurant schedule. This is one of the two places that they never fail to go each week, and it's really, really good. I definitely uh, recommend it. Yeah. Now, even though I'm a creature of habit and generally order the same thing every time, uh, this time I got something different. I went with the beef tacos this time. You haven't actually been to Memphis until you've seen the train go by. They go by every 15 minutes, stopping traffic and disrupting everyone's lives. The spot where this school now sits used to be a soccer field. Uh, and I used to play here uh, when I first started playing the sport. Played for Simsa Blue, and that stands for Southeast Memphis Soccer Association. First team I ever played for. My dad's world famous chicken tetrazzini. Best thing in the world. to get out for a while and just cruise around the streets, see some old sights. I'm also meeting up with John later and we're going to go uh, ride around to some of our old haunts from uh, when we were kids, where we went to school, where we went to, uh, where we lived, different places like that. It should be fun. first stop was Cherokee Branch Library where we used to go on field trips when we were six maybe seven years old and uh, we decided to go in for the first time in about 20 years and check out and see what it what it looked like and uh, turns out we had uh, we found one of the books that we used to check out when we were six seven years old it was actually still there Is that our book? Is that our story? Yeah, that's our story today. <laughs> I see he's waiting on the dunce to come pick him up. 
Yeah, I guess so. Playing with a green cutlass. So we just went into our old library. We did. So from when we were library. about mm -hmm. six years old, seven years old, started coming here. And they had the same book, one of the same books, same That's dinosaur right. books that we uh -huh. uh, used to check out back in the day. So what are your what are your feelings from that little visit? One is still there. It, 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 it's, it gives me a, a, a it's very satisfying to me. One of those books that's still there. Still there. One. He wanted to go buy it, but I, I wouldn't do it. Well, I asked him if he'd go and I checked him out. If he would uh, ask the ladies, like, what, do you think they'd sell it to us? Or just a little question. I wouldn't hurt anything, but, you know, he didn't have the... He was just a little There's bit... A little wussy about it. That. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for putting me on yeah. the spot. That's where 50 years has taken us. <laughs> That's where we got. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, well, uh, so signing off now. Uh, on to the next stop. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you next see time. See you next time. There's the and laundry. Right there, uh -huh. that, that, that circle where that man is standing, uh -huh. right there, that's where... Or the one before it, Christian and I met right there playing. What? Pool's gone. No! <laughs> this is where the pool was. Yes! And there's the see, laundry there's, room there's still the there. There's the baby pool yep. right there. You can still see where the baby pool was oh, and then the, God, I got the it. Just adult get, pool. I have to get out. Yeah. <laughs> totally forgot about that laundry room though. That's yeah. wow. Been in there many times. Wow. wow. Can't believe the pool's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Right Brazil and her famous leather woman tan. She would always lay out like really <laughs> a leather woman. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'd always get after us for climbing the, this wall. Oh, this wall over here, and yeah. You'd, you'd push that. The wall looked like it was huge. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, back then it was like 50 feet tall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this is where we took our garbage. <laughs> right yep. Uh, um, right there. Wow. That was it. Jeez. A lot of memories there. And then, of course, that wasn't there. That was not That was there. just a field, That's and we'd true. walk across to the treasury. Yep. These towers, there was another building. Okay. So, when was the last time you saw Christian or heard from Christian? 20 something years ago. Okay. Probably, no, 30 something years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, it was back in yeah, the we late 80s, early other. 90s. Yes, yeah, we ran into each other again. Okay. As With Planet of the Eight yeah. Masks and Machine <laughs> <Yeah, that's> Guns. Right. <laughs> we were a little bit older, and somehow we reconnected through Brian Craig of all okay. people. Okay. Um, Not the OG Brian Craig, but the, the Mach 2. Second generation. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. Right. that's right. Okay. Um, and all of this. This is the street where we walked down. Yeah. From, from the church, or from, from the school. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. From Cherokee. Uh huh. And, uh, gosh, we did a lot of walks as a class to the library. There. Oh, yeah. We had the whole line of us going uh, all the way down. Yeah, so a lot of the Cherokee church people lived around in this neighborhood. Yeah, this is kind of um, like the, the local neighborhood yeah, church. Yeah, and here we come up again. I'm always afraid that they'll be, again. It'll be gone. It'll be yep. <laughs> the last time I was here is still there, but there she is. And here it is. That's where. That's where. 
This is where it all went down. Safety patrol was invented down here. <laughs> yeah, the joy bus was always parked right here. Right? Yep. Yep. Oh, right, the joy the bus. The joy bus. Okay. And remember this collection of houses. Oh, that right. Was there. Well, there was that. Well, there was a one house. There's that one big house, and but, like with the ground, with a yard around it, and a fence. Yeah, but then there no, but it was more than one house. I thought it was just a one house. No. Oh, okay. It was several. It could have been later one house, and there was mm -hmm. nothing. But then there was a. a That's kind of where we, you know, we got our, our little ICs. You know? hey. Um. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That crushed ice and a. And uh -huh. a, and a Big, what do you call those things? Thermosy like type things. Uh, oh, ice pot? Or not yeah, a, ice. Uh, cooler. That. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, this is too much. Wow. I mean, we could walk in that building blindfolded. Blindfolded, and, and we would we know could exactly. Find every room. We could go to every room, first grade, second grade, all the way through sixth grade. Was it the last time that we were here, you and I together? There was somebody there. There was a lady there, and she actually took us in. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was like almost 20 oh, years that ago. Was the Cause we've been here visit. since where we just uh, took pictures out front, I think, uh, but okay. that was the last time I set foot in there. But yeah, that was, that might've been in the nineties. Well, I seen the last time I was here, mm -hmm. but myself, um, there was a kind of lady that was kind of wary and I didn't ask her to let me in, but she was a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, what are you? Yeah. Why do you want to come in? Staring at yeah. our glass door. Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. For, um, you know, it reminds me of Eric. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And the backpack. Mm -hmm. The backpack. I'll Should never forget. That was right over there on it, that street. Yeah. It was. Uh, he would always walk up the road. Yep. And his yep. waddle duck feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rachel picking her nose and Bruce Crawford over here. <laughs> You know, looking toe <laughs> Oh, it's so you bad. Know. Rachel so, always, yeah. All you do is say Rachel, I immediately think of picking her nose. Picking her nose, right? Rachel picking yeah. her nose. Clint and Brent running around here. Yep. Brian and I playing four square. Oh, boy. Yeah. Beth Falling and skinning our palms and knees. That was the worst pain in the world if you've never experienced that. Falling on asphalt, just sliding <laughs> oh, on your palms. It's just the best. <laughs> it's, yeah. so, it's so great. And then Miss Finney and Mr. Creaseman out here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, recess. <laughs> recess. Free play. I remember right here at one point, I think we were throwing pine cones or something like that at passing cars. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, someone got out and yelled at us. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Come on, go in. Huh? All right, the entrance to Cherokee Bar. The entrance to the, our old elementary school. Our old elementary. From kindergarten through sixth grade, we were here. Yeah, we were yeah. kindergarten through sixth grade. Crazy. Oh yeah. That's where we all met. Safety patrol. Safety patrol. Bang them. And I think down there was kind of the nursery or the Yeah, the nursery area. and the preschool was down there. Because our kindergarten was on the opposite side of the hallway from down there. Yeah. The Spalding. The Spalding. Miss Luck. Yep. Forgot about Miss Luck. Whatever happened to them? Oh, who knows? Is that a choking tube? Yeah. Huh. That's been added. Right, right. Yeah, they kind of left. Yeah. They took down the overhangs and just kind of left the hardware. And if I remember from wheel. last time going through, walking past here, uh -huh. it looked a little rusty. Okay. Kind of like that door. <laughs> yeah. You see? See the rust? Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I haven't done a refurb in a while. Yeah, I need to keep giving more. Give more at the. Uh, <laughs> in the off. Put more in the offering plate. That's right. Yeah, no, you're right. It looks like it's kind of starting to fall down a little bit. <laughs> it's been falling age. down. <laughs> I'm the optimist. He's the pessimist. Yeah, like, well, it did, oh, it looks like it's tiny, starting on the opening edges. Of, no, it's been tearing torn down for years. Jesus, next Sunday, where your heart is? It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall on us as we walk under it now. Yeah, there would do we were doing renovations. Yeah, there you oh, go. It's, it's, it's caged in. And see over there, 
we had that one performance place. Remember we would do yeah, one, down here. Down there, yeah, there was a little. We got married there. Oh really? Before, you know, we in that room over there. Yep. When oh, we did, wow. when we did our, our th all our plays. Yeah. You know, all our. Uh, and there's the fellowship hall downstairs. The which cafeteria, basically. Yeah, the cafeteria, right? Yeah. Bible studies, yeah, all that stuff. And those little side rooms. Yeah. Um, gosh, of course, third grade is down here. Yeah, third grade is down there. Oh, yeah. Same as sixth That's grade. Right. The same room. We were in third and sixth grade in the same room. No. Yeah. Sixth grade was upstairs. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Uh -huh. He got that one wrong. But no, no, this, uh, <laughs> no grade, third and sixth grade, no, we were in the same sixth room. Sixth grade was upstairs because sixth grade, um, it was in the same room as fourth grade. No. Yep. No. Yep. <laughs> yep. I can remember because the window was out like this and had the go academic golden golden crest yeah, the golden honor crest roll. it was looking out the window it citizenship was honor roll yeah, yeah it was there when you look out the window yeah no. I'm telling you no I'm telling you <laughs> he's he's really screwed up on this he messed that one all up <laughs> yeah yeah all that it was third and six yeah it's, it's that slow blood <laughs> that's what it is it's all that slow blood I got <laughs> Oh. Syrup. <laughs> <laughs> go get drained. <laughs> go get drained. Yeah. Or his Dracula when you need it. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? Sixth grade was downstairs. It was downstairs. It was not downstairs. It was downstairs. It was third grade was the. Are you finished? No, because no, <laughs> because sixth grade was right next to the school office with Pat Buckingham. No, it was it not. Was. It, was right, not. Right. it was not. And it was down there. <laughs> <laughs> it was next to the school office. That's I can't believe you're even. Grades were. I can't even believe you're trying to argue this. Look, there's six. <laughs> there's the office, and then you come across here, and that's where uh, Miss McKee's and Miss Everett's rooms were. That was fifth. I mean, grade. they were before us. Yeah, yeah, that was fifth grade, which yeah. Miss McKee's room, her old seventh grade room, our fifth grade room. <laughs> you know. It's sad when dementia hits. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> These, uh, yeah. Oh, and there's a massive hill down oh, there that yeah. we used to. That we used to. But you can imagine how crazy tall that looked for a for a six year old. Right. And then, yeah, just push him into that. Thing. Yeah, push him into the grade into that right. thing. Yeah. And then of course all the blue. Uh, the reception area. Oh like yeah, John Jolly all the blue. Yeah, sing. the blue. Yeah, John Jolly. I forgot about him. Yeah, right that's right. That was right inside those doors there. The blue carpet. We used to have blue sixth furniture. grade sometimes. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, right there. Oh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think you go down here, you would find our first and second grade rooms. Ding 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 ding. First and second grade's up there. That was, that's where you go down to the cafeteria. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. See, I'm, I'm right. I'm right on that one. <laughs> I was right on yeah. the other one, too. Yes. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have to go to that, that deep, dank... Yeah, because he had to on this side. Remember? Because this yes. is like the hallway that yes. divided yeah, first and second right. was here, and then we go, and then absolutely. third through six was down there. Yeah. yeah, we'd play on this great like crazy, and yeah, we'd yeah, do like it. a balancing act yeah. across this thing. That was like the contest. You had like to balance your way across. <laughs> like I just fell and busted. <laughs> yeah, lost. Exactly. Right there. Wow. Um, yep, that's, that's about when it was. Yeah, 79. Uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, because yeah, spring of 79 is when we would have gotten uh, done with sixth grade. Yep, yeah, and May of 79 was when I moved to when mom and I moved to the uh, Winchester right. uh, complex. Yeah, so right, so as, right as we got finished here. Yep. 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 So that was literally the end of an era right there. Sure enough. Stopped going to school here, stopped living at Sharp. <laughs> Closed the door on that chapter. Yep. Um, hey, there's some, some old safety patrol material. Yeah, <laughs> so those are all safety patrol there. cones are still yep. here. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, the best and the brightest. <laughs> At least I know where our sixth grade room was. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Rehistory. Yeah. All right. So I have. Uh, are you recording? I'm recording. That's why the time uh, is going. Yeah. This is an appendix to um, one of our earlier videos. You want to explain? Yeah. So the whole sixth grade, third grade classroom thing, I thought it was in the same room. Apparently, this guy was. <coughs> he was. Um, right oh that, that hurts oh, that hurts, that hurts. Yeah. he was he was right i, I think you feel it Do you i'm remember feeling just, like it is it out? that yeah the more we talked it out the more i started to realize maybe he was right on this yeah. that maybe third grade and sixth grade was the same room third, no and i mean no sorry sorry fourth grade and sixth grade i i had no. it confused it was yeah. third and six. sixth grade sixth grade yes miss mccreary we did it again in the same room that's right yeah. Yeah. We had all those new people. All right. You can see the new faces. Because when he room. mentioned the, the names of the students mm -hmm. that were new to the school mm -hmm. that year, I remember they were in that room. Yep. That's right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Fine. And, fine. Uh, scene. My humblest apologies. Yeah, no. Oh. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's just typical. <laughs> wow. wow. Now he's pushing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We attended this school, uh, Cherokee branch of the Briarcrest system, from kindergarten where we met through sixth grade. After that, uh, John and his mom moved away uh, to East Memphis and uh, I went to a different school. So this house here is the Pepto-Bismol house. <laughs> yeah. And it's been the same color since, since 1973. Something. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> when we started attending school about a block away from here. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it is still that color. I don't still know if that, that means color. it's the same owners that are now 120 years old. No. <laughs> or It really or is. I mean, it's got the same, it looks as dilapidated as Cherokee. Yeah. Yep, there it is. There it was. This was like oh, the Buckingham world uh, and <laughs> the little John world. So Pat Buckingham lived uh, right here, right here. Okay. That's where she was. Got and it. Now, wow, where did the... Mashallah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, wait a minute. It turned, got turned around. Oh, here's my house. Right there. Oh, okay. That's That was mine. Interesting. With the sweet gum tree in front And that was it. before the apartment? Yes. Okay. It was before. Yeah, well, it had to be because you moved from there to yep. T.O. area. And we just rode bikes through here. All around here? Wow. Constantly. Yep. Okay. That was the place. Oh, gosh. They used to have a magnolia tree uh -huh. that was there and it grew to an immense size and I remember one time Corey and I climbed it we used to climb it all the time but I remember pushing him down oh you know, just for the hell of it yeah just because you could I remember pushing just to see what would happen and I just pushed him for the great heights and his just bam 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 his head was hitting the branches oh bam right on his back probably traumatized to this day about that yeah well you know <laughs> Beverly Hills Baptist Church up here. Yes, right up in the right there. Um, I remember we took a couple of rides over here too. Sure. We have to do and some. And what's it called now? Robin's well, Robin Hood Lane Baptist oh, Church. Oh, that's no good for me. That's, that doesn't work for you. It doesn't work. For me. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, I know. I know somewhere I want to go because I want to. I want to ask you a question about a place over here. Okay. All right, we're so we'll be back in a minute. Investigative journalism. Coming up here, of course, was the big star. Big star, and this was a huge deal. Yeah, the old Taco Bell. Taco Bell used to be right there. Right there yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this was Big Star. Yep, it was a, a lot of shopping deal. in there. Yep. yep, got a lot of magazines and stuff uh -huh. in there, and candy bars and all kinds of crap. Yeah. Now, what I wanted to ask you yeah. is, what house was your friend? Did he live on here? Mike Carney? Mike Carney. Uh, it was Dogwood. Yes, Dogwood yes, right Dogwood here. So it's like, somewhere... was it this house right here? Which one? That one, the green one. Ugh. For some reason, I keep thinking it was like one of these corner things. See, I keep thinking it was either that or that one. Because I always have a very vivid remember... memory of it being like right in this area. Really? Yeah. I keep thinking it was like in, I mean, you're probably right. Or but right? maybe it was over here. I, I keep thinking it was like in this area. Because... I, I, Blue Oyster Cult. Yes, <laughs> Cultosaurus I Erectus. Yes. I remember that album and cover. Algebra One. Yeah. With Mike Carney. God. It's... Well, here's a little blast in the past. Yeah. So, guess who lived there? Who lived there? Yep. Male or female? Female. Hmm. It was either there or that one, because they see the architecture is very yeah, similar. That, Actually, the more I think about it, it might be this one down here. I think it's just a little bit farther down there. Yeah, this uh -huh. one. So guess who used to live there? I, I, 
Miss McHugh. Miss McHugh lived yep, there. Miss McHugh lived there. No way. Yep. The things you learn. The things you learn. Yes. And now we're on a very historic street. So we turn left onto historic Briarwood Drive. It's home of yours truly. Former home of, uh, yep. All right, yeah, this is Briarwood Drive where I used to live. I grew up here. We moved here on the year after my first birthday yeah. and lived here until basically my parents moved out in 2000. Yeah. I was already living in Nashville mm -hmm. at the time, but yeah. yeah, my parents lived here for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah back <laughs> Almost yeah, about 33 years. <laughs> and it's the Coming green one. Formerly with the black, black shutters, color. formerly white. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was the color of well, almost the Nova. <laughs> but, yeah, it really was the car, color of our old car. I, I've always been there's, there's a certain temptation I want to like just knock on the just door knock on the door and, and say, "Hey, I grew up here. You mind if I come in and look around?" <laughs> we missed Maureen's house. Over oh there yeah, too. Maureen, that's it's right, just, uh, right across the street. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is uh, this is the place where it happened. Place where it all went down. All went down. So up here we're approaching the former location of Sally's Hairstyles. Former, you said. And up north right where that's uh, okay. yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. It used to be right there. Yep. And the that's car wash is where Sally's hair, basically where that SUV is. <laughs> it uh, used to be Sally's hairstyles right behind sure that. Enough. Yeah, right there. It's hard to see some of the old buildings still here. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this uh, orange. Right, yeah, that orange now, building. Yeah, that's been there forever. The yeah. auto zone's been, auto there zone been there forever. For a long time. Um, but yeah, that Taco Bell's long gone. Long gone. And all this is new buildings. Say, I bless my All that's new buildings. Yeah. And that is the tops where we uh, um, ate more meals than we can count. A lot of changes. That changes. Changes. Yeah, even the sign has finally been changed because yeah. it was the same sign for decades yeah, yeah. and now it's uh, actually been updated a little bit. Yeah, it was just a simple little house. Yeah, we uh, spent uh, many, many times, many, many meals in there. Many, many, and yeah, we sure did, just crossing the street. Yeah, oh yeah, um, just walking across from uh, Sally's hairstyle. Uh, you know, my nickname over there was Sally Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Yes. <laughs> still there. Yeah, you know, mom worked here for years. At the last, say, several five or six years, uh -huh. yeah, you know, she worked for Jack Baton Company. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, they had a. They just rented out one of the apartments and ran the business out of there. Okay. I always felt very comfortable with these, this complex. Yeah. It's very. Uh, well, yeah, we rode bikes around. They had like three or four pools. Oh yeah, that was very nice. Yeah, Brian and I used to ride our bikes all over the place there. There was a guy named David Leon who was a bully to Brian. I remember that. He used to ride around. Yeah, he lived. Over, I remember he used to scare the crap out of both of us. Yeah. Yeah, he. Rough looking little thing. Yeah, I remember that very much. What was his name? David Leon. David Leon. I totally forgot about that. Look at this in the flesh. I know. It's real. It's so amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing. Oh my god. You look looking so good. You look great too, man. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. Oh my god, cheese. <laughs> what is going on there, Mibroskis? That's right. Yeah. All right. Together again. It. The band's back together. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. Kiss this. This is so great. I guess that should be the name of our band. What is it? Kiss this. Kiss this? Yeah, kiss this. Because we always do a kiss jam. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's it. That's we had no we names, so. Kiss this yeah. it is. It's the kiss. This is Kiss yeah. This. Yeah. New album cover. <laughs> Super yeah, yeah, new album cover. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think the first thing I would ask you at this point is, at this stage of your life, what is your joy? Like, what brings you, because you've seen everything. Is it people? Meeting new people, or? Welcome to the John Folgem <laughs> interview. Know, like, Barbara Walters interviewing yeah, John Folgem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so you've seen it all, John. <laughs> I wish, God, you know, there's always something new. Yeah. But, uh, well, because your latest is Zanzibar, yes? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right now, this, this, doing what I'm doing right now is bringing me immense joy. There you go. This, this. Yep. 
and I haven't been here in well since the last eighteen. Time. Yeah, yeah, eighteen. Uh -huh. And um, there was a there was a part of me that was a little reticent about coming back yeah. to Memphis, you know. Yeah. But I was kind of hadn't seen mom in so long, and of course you would be here. Yeah. Alan can usually mm -hmm. work it out to yeah. get here, especially if it's Christmas. I'm like, you know, I, I just need to make that happen. This is sort of the important people. You know, God knows I know you know people overseas yeah, and all that, yeah, yeah. And, and that's uh, an adventure in and of itself, and it's always something new and stimulating. But right now is, man, this is a deep dose of medicine that I need. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's what I'm so glad. I mean, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can just jump right in and connect with you. Yeah, yeah. And Alan, um, it was like it was like when Alan and Jenny and my mom and. We had lunch together in yep. Fold. Mm -hmm. How'd the surprise go? Did y'all... Oh, it went great. Oh, yeah, I got, I got a video <laughs> to show you. <laughs> it was so great. In fact, it was his idea. He said, does David know you're coming in? You want to surprise him too? I said, well, he kind of knows. Yeah, kind of knows. Yeah. yeah. And because uh, uh, I thought, well, you know, one heart attack at a time. So <laughs> Right. Um, one heart check per trip. That's oh, heart yeah, check per trip. Yeah, Blank. You know, so I left that up to the viewer's imagination. The actual scripture, I think, is my faithful wife, now a harlot. I, think. I was going to go servant, now uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but it, I also thought of, like, my faithful dog, now a memory. Or, now, like, there's all these different things you can put there that totally transforms the meaning of it. Okay. You know? But... Yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that. Yeah, yeah. I say I want to set you free. Don't you know you're being misery? There are no pills there, are no fees. Kiss Jam 2022 is officially in the books. How do yeah. you feel about it, David McNinch? My goodness, you know, it, uh, you just go, what year is it, really, when things like this happen? Especially when you have Kobo Hall, you know, mic effect on. When you have the Kobo Hall effect on your it was wonderful. You know, it's 1986 all over. I just want to have uh, some cookies at your mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> And some caffeine free diet coke. Yeah. 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 So what do you think, what about you, John? Well, you know, all the all the all the work we did, you know, the preparation, the, the kind of tour rehearsals and stuff. Uh they were great thanks for the tech crew. Uh we had some special guests come in. Uh it was just it was just incredible. Yeah, we brought back this we still have the magic, you know, that's we do, we still have the magic. There. Do we have a name for this band? We have a name. I yeah. think we do have a name. I think we do have a name now. We're called Kiss This. Kiss This. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah. But enough about us. How did you feel about it? Uh, the, the, John kind of already echoed my sentiments when he said that, you know, we worked and just, I mean, you if you could see the calluses right now, the <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks of practice I put in for this. 
Yeah, it was it was tough. It was a haul, man. But we got through it. We got it done. And kiss this is back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spending the day with mom today, uh, we're headed over to the main branch of the Memphis Library System. She wanted to pick up a few uh, a few books to read, and uh, I just wanted to check it out. This place is pretty massive. It's four stories. We're actually headed all the way up to the fourth floor to do a little historical family research for a little bit. Mom had something she wanted to look for. Uh, we're gonna check out some old phone books from the 1950s. This is the Eastgate Shopping Center, and as a kid, I grew up going to tons of stores in this place, uh, buying all kinds of stuff, bought a lot of toys here. When I got a little older, I was buying record albums at Woolco, I was buying posters at Cat's Drug Store. Uh, right in this area down here is about where Woolco used to be. It's just a giant old department store from the 70s that I used to go in and shop for albums and toys and various things like that. Lots of memories at this uh, uh, shopping center as well. Of course, it, all the stores are brand new and a lot of it's been revamped, but it, it looks a very, very similar to what it used to do. And that building on the end there, that office building, has been there the whole time. If I turned left at the end of this road here and went down to the end, that would be the location of the old Paramount movie theater where I saw several films. I decided to get out and run a few more errands. Wanted to take a ride out to uh, Barnes & Noble out by the Wolf Chase Galleria. I believe it's the only Barnes & Noble remaining in Memphis. Uh, back when they used to have, uh, when I lived here, there were a ton of them. Now they're down to one. Yeah, it's uh, turned out to be a pretty rainy, nasty day. It wasn't raining when I drove out there, but by the time I came out of the store, it was pouring down even worse than it is here. So it's definitely much more typical weather for Memphis this time of year rather than the snow we had a few days ago. Recently, while cleaning out one of her old closets, Mom came across this box of old Super 8 and 8mm uh, family footage. This is from way back. This predates me. This is back from the uh, 50s and 60s. There's even uh, one cassette marked uh, Kennedy's Memphis Visit, and that was in 1961. But I definitely want to get this transferred, see what all's on there. This is the Mid-South Coliseum. Uh, this was the premier sporting arena and concert venue from basically the mid-60s. It was built in 64, uh, right around there, uh, until its final uh, final event, which was in the mid uh, to early 2000s. I, re I believe around 2004, 2005, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to research that. Uh, but yeah, I have saw more concerts in here than I can count. Uh, sporting events. I even worked here for uh, for a few years as a uh, team photographer for the uh, minor league Memphis River Kings of the old Central Hockey League from roughly 1991 to 1998. Uh, so I've got a lot of history with this building as well, and I hope they're they're saving it. They're they're trying to. There are a lot of efforts in 
uh, out there to try and save it uh, so they don't tear it down. Uh, and they're going to incorporate it into this bigger complex they're building here, which is this giant, uh, you can see the new building right there, this uh, big sporting complex uh, to try and bring in sporting events from all around the nation, uh, high school, college level, stuff like that. Now, if you look just behind the Coliseum back there, that's part of the structure of the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium which is uh, the, where the uh, University of Memphis Tigers uh, f excuse me, football team plays uh, and also the annual Liberty Bowl uh, uh, game itself, which was just played a couple of days ago between Arkansas and Kansas. But yeah, lots of memories with this place. I just, I, I really, really get nostalgic when I get around this place. Really hope they save it. Really hope they save it. It'd be a shame if they tore it down. When I worked here for all those years in the 90s uh, for the hockey team, it's that's the entrance I would go through is that red door right there. I'd park in the back, walk, into that walk through these there. gates, and go right in through that door into the uh, back stage area. A lot of Maybe the Liberty there. Bowl uh, Memorial Stadium, a lot of football, a lot of uh, soccer games there over the years. Liberty Park Redevelopment, that's the name of the new um, entire facility that they're building, including this building here, which is going to be the main um, uh, indoor venue. They're also going to have like a soccer stadium for Memphis 901 FC professional team. Uh, it's going to stretch all the way over to Central Avenue between Southern and Central. Here we're driving into Overton Park. This is where uh, Memphis Zoo is located, uh, former uh, home of Memphis College of Art. The building is still there, but uh, the institution has closed. This World War I monument to the soldiers who died uh, from the Memphis area was erected in 1926. Uh, and I used to come here and play around this little, this little big statue when I was teeny tiny, when I was a little bitty, she just probably start to walk. Uh, so I've been out here for a long, long, many years, decades, I used to come out here. Uh, it's right in the, in what's called Overton Park. Uh, right by the Memphis Zoo, Memphis College of Art, uh, and some various Midtown uh, attractions uh, as well. But this thing uh, has been around for a long, long time. They've expanded it since to, it's all, the whole thing is called Veterans Plaza now. And uh, they include uh, memorials to those who died in Korea, Vietnam, World War II, and Desert Storm as well. They've, uh, th that all was added, I believe, around 2005. So but this, is, uh, this is also a place that brings back a lot of memories for me. Spent a lot of time here in Overton Park. This area of Overton Park is called the Green Sward. This was basically used for recreational activities like soccer, frisbee, uh, playing music, hanging out. And from some of my older uh, friends, I've learned that this was a big hippie hangout back in the 60s. Another Memphis icon uh, is the Overton Park, the Levitt Overton Park shell. Uh, it's been around since way back in the day. Elvis even played here back in the 50s uh, on a couple of occasions. So this thing has uh, been saved. It was very nearly torn down back in the 90s. But it's, uh, it's still here today. It's still an active uh, venue with concerts and band performances of all kinds. So this is a park where I used to play soccer uh, a lot when I was in roughly junior high school. Uh, middle school, I uh, played for a uh, the church, the Idlewild Church soccer team, uh, and this is 
uh, early 80s, 81, 82. And we used to do our practices here, not our games, but uh, but this whole long, narrow park here, we used to uh, have a soccer field. You can see the nets there. Obviously not the same nets as when I was here. But uh, yeah, we used to play soccer out here. And whenever we would get in trouble, I remember this very specifically, uh, if one of the players was acting out, um, after a couple of warnings, the coach would say, let's go to the hill. And what he would do is he would make us run down the street and about a half mile over to where there was this giant hill, just this natural hill. Uh, and we would have to go up that hill and down and up and down and up and down until he told us we were done and then we had to run back. Uh, so yeah, and that was, everybody had to do it if, even if one player got in trouble. So yeah, that definitely uh, taught the person a lesson. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> but yeah, again, lots of memories here as well. Uh, just a really cool, cool little park that we used to play, uh, play soccer in. A lot of memories here. Mom and I are continuing our uh, sightseeing tour of Memphis, so we're headed down to the river. At the very end of the road there, you can see the big M Bridge, which is funny, it was built in the late 70s, and yet for people who were around back then, we still call it the New Bridge. Up here on the right is the Auditorium North Hall, or at least that's the former name of it, Ellis Auditorium. Uh, and it's, uh, it's an old concert venue that was kind of replaced by the Mid-South Coliseum as far as the, the top acts playing there. But I've seen a few shows over there over the years. Wow. I've never seen it like that. We've arrived at the Mississippi River, and I have never in my life, of my decades of living here, seen fog like this. The whole thing is just covered. You barely can see even any water just a solid wall of fog now that it's starting to warm up whereas over the weekend we had snow uh, now several days later it's uh, warmed up into the upper 60s that is really something Memphis landmark Orpheum Theater there on the left used to be the old Malk Theater and uh, you can see there Elvis uh, received a parking ticket right out in front of here one day back in 1956. Seen lots of performances and uh, performing arts there. Now we're getting a shot down Beale Street here. It's uh, blocked off and it only uh, allows pedestrian traffic, uh, but there's a couple of views of it. AutoZone Park, situated in the heart of downtown Memphis, Tennessee, is the home to the Memphis Redbirds, the AAA affiliate of the St. Louis Cardinals, and Memphis 901 FC, the professional soccer team in the United Soccer League. We're now standing outside the famous Peabody Hotel in Memphis. Mom and I are going to go in and take a look. Been in here more times than I can count over the years. But uh, it's been uh, about three or four years since we've been in here, so we're going to go in and check out the Christmas decorations and uh, just see how it all looks. Oh, look at this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah. And there are the Peabody Ducks. Very famous residents of Memphis. We're going to head up to the mezzanine level now. Check out what it looks like from the uh, balcony up here. It usually provides a really, really great view of the, of the, the main hotel lobby. I love this bank of old phones. These things are great. This is a room on the mezzanine level that's kind of a history of the Peabody Hotel. Just has all types of artifacts and old tickets and keys and photos of famous guests uh, just from all of the past century or so. Of 
group photo from 1906. Elvis left the building, but he left his glasses. <laughs> this is the Continental Ballroom, and uh, back in 1953, Elvis actually attended his senior prom in this very room. This piano was built specifically for Francis Scott Key in 1838. Back out into the rain. There's another Memphis landmark at Sun Records. The first rock and roll record ever came out of there in 1951 at Rocket 88. Now for the other staple of my parents restaurant rotation every week this is Memphis Pizza Company. Every Friday night mom and dad come in here and uh, have dinner. They've been coming here so long they actually get Christmas cards from the staff. Wrapping up my trip on the last night, watching our uh, beloved Preds in action against the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Well, my trip has come to an end. It's time for me to head back down to Orlando. Had a great trip though, a uh, wonderful uh, time seeing everyone and visiting with uh, mom and dad and uh, John and David. Overall, it was just a great trip. Making our descent into Orlando, you can see Lake Eola right in the middle of downtown Orlando there. It's a great view. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, vicariously experiencing my trip home to Memphis with me. And as I touch down again here in Orlando, I just want, uh, I want to thank you all again for watching. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care. This World War One monument was a book. There's a plane. I wait for the plane. <laughs>